Hello everyone. Welcome to this short video. This is a bonus video. Nowadays, most of the organizations use cloud-based identity services like Microsoft Entra ID and Okta. So why not use these identity sources for firewall administrators? In this video, we are going to see how to set up SAML based access on Palo Alto firewall for administrator access as you can see I have already logged into my firewall and I have also logged into my Okta account this is a developer Okta account which I have created on Okta this is free of cost you can also create it now before we do anything on the firewall we need to make some settings in Okta so let's just start with Okta. You go to Okta under Applications, select Applications, select Browse App Catalog. Here we need to search for an application, and the application name will be Palo Alto Admin UI. Yeah, this one Palo Alto Networks Admin UI. Click on Add Integration. In General Settings, under Base URL, you have to mention the, you know, IP address of our firewall along with HTTPS and port 443. Mistyped it. Let me fix it now. Not 200. Not 1200.200. Okay. Now just hit Done. That's it. Our app has been configured now, but we need to assign it to the users. So who are the users which will use this? So go to assign under assignments. I'm going to assign it to groups. I have two groups instead of assigning it to users. So I have two groups Palo Alto admins and one more Palo Alto admins read only. And I'm going to hit done. Okay. Now we have assigned it to the users. Now the next step is how do we specify what act, what is the level of access these users will have on the Palo Alto firewall. So for that you have to go under directory. Select profile editor. There you will see this application. Click on this application. And then click on add attribute. And the attribute we need to add here is admin role. It's a string type. I uh, don't need to change any, just change this attribute type to group because I want it to be applied to all the users in the group, not just to the specific users. So group, and I'm just gonna hit save. Okay, it has been added. Now, uh, I will go back to my applications and I can see Paul Alto Networks Admin UI. I'm going to hit on it and then I go to under the assignment section and then I'll click on the Shivam Johari and it should show me the uh, you know the attribute for the user. See admin role is the attribute that has been added here. Now we need to uh, assign the value to that attribute. So we go to the groups here. Palo Alto admins will have super user access. I hit that and define its value here. Super user. Save it. And read only will have the super user read only access. So for that we need to answer super reader. Okay, I'll just verify my groups once again. Yes, and here are the users. So I've created two users and they are part of uh, those two specific groups. And also I'll go to the applications and I'll click on the application and I'm gonna download the application metadata. Click on uh, sign on section. Copy this metadata URL. 
open another tab in your browser access the metadata url right click save the data as i can say octa metadata dot xml and i'm going to save it under my downloads folder save now our job is done in the octa now let's uh, go back to palo alto and in palo alto we have to go into the device tab so in order to authenticate users via the uh, saml we first need to create a server profile uh, for the saml idp so you can see under server profiles there is an option saml idp click on that and click on add so if you click on add you need to fill all these values profile name identity provider id certificate you would need to import this certificate as well before you know you can map it here and then sso url and everything but there is a very good way to do it without mentioning all this information that is to directly import the metadata file which we downloaded from the uh, application so i'll cancel it here and i'm going to create a profile by using the metadata file so i'll say octa idp okay it's only for the administrator use only admin users can be authenticated through it i'll browse and i'll select our file octa metadata open it and i'll uncheck this box and hit okay you can see it will import it will it it, it it sets up everything uh, if i click on it again you see everything has been set up certificate has been imported and mapped as well so you can see in the certificates we will have a certificate that's all that is the idp certificate you see it's already it it, it does everything by itself if you import that metadata file now uh, as we did for the you know local user database we need to create an authentication profile so let's click on add and then i'll call it oh auth pro we need to select the saml and in here we are gonna select the our idp we added and that's it uh, yeah what will be the admin what will be the attribute that will show the you know uh, the access level of the admins on the firewall basically super user or super user read only so our attribute name is admin role you know which we added here in octa by going into the application so admin role under advanced i'm gonna set uh, all users because i'm gonna control the access based on the group in the octa itself so no matter what i choose here all or maybe a specific group but i cannot uh, import the specific group so be with the saml in the firewall so that's another challenge here that's it hit okay yes uh, we have set it up now this profile we need to go in the device and the setup and then uh, we talked about general settings in the past and now we are going to talk about authentication settings so you check this gear shaped icon click on it and then uh, we map here octa auth profile you can see the, the only profile supported here are radius stack axe and saml so we are using saml hit okay let's commit our changes changes have been com changes are being committed so just wait for some time yes commit is in progress while this commit is in progress i am going to uh, open an incognito window and put my firewall ip address there you can see at this time there is no option to do a saml based authentication okay once our commit is complete and i'm gonna hit this url again there will be option in here use sso for to access the firewall you'll see that when the commit completes let's see the status of commit it's a zero percent as of now let's give it some time
Okay, it will be running, but uh, yeah, see, status 55% complete. Let's wait for some more time, probably 30 more seconds, and it should be done. It's at 98% now. 99. At this stage, usually the commit is complete. I'm going to reload the page. And voila, you can see use single sign on. Let's try to sign on using single sign. As of now, I cannot click on this. First, you have to accept the banner. Then you select single sign on and it is asking for account. I'm going to put the username of an account which I have on the Okta. Continue. And now it should redirect me to my Okta. For SAML authentication, you can see at the bottom. Yep, it's not. It has not taken me there. Let me put the credentials here, and then the password. That's it. Now I am authenticating through Okta to my firewall. Now Okta is going to perform the SAML and then pass on all the required attributes and the authentication status to my firewall. You can see, I'm going back to my firewall now. And uh, the account I used is part of the Palo Alto admins group. So I should have a super admin access on the Palo Alto. I'm waiting for the page to come up. You can see I'm successfully logged in and you, just one moment. You can see the account name shivam.johari at the red shivam.local. You can see here as well. I am logged in on web interface and I am logged in using the Okta. Thank you for your time. That's it for this video.